Welcome into another video and this one's jam-packed full of awesome information for you guys. Today, we're going to be looking at the submachine gun HRM9 from Modern Warfare 3 and we're going to see just how viable that is inside of Modern Warfare 3 zombies. We're going to be taking on bounties in all three tiers, dealing with a mega abomination in tier 3. And you want to stick through to that part of the video because there's an awesome cheese spot and some tips for you guys to handle those mega abominations super easy inside of tier 3. So with that being said, welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out any future uploads from myself on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Also down below in the description, you will find the links for my stream. I stream daily and I would just love to have you guys come and join us over in the streams. Tons of fun, lots of chill time, so hope to see you guys there. But without further ado, welcome in. Let's get to the HRM9 video. Alright, so here we are. We're going to be spawning in with our HRM9 and we're going to be putting on our perks just to begin with, with no weapon rarity, no pack a punch and no ammo mods. You're looking at the HRM9 in Borealis camo with the new aftermarket optic that was added uh, recently is attached to the gun. So the build for those are always near the end of the video. So guys stick around for that if you want to see the build. Um, just want to say thank you again to the recent support on all of my recent format and videos. They've switched up to long form content now. So hopefully you guys are really enjoying that. I'm seeing some in the comments that people are really enjoying the, the videos and the new format for myself. So I'm really excited for that. Just wanted to say thank you. So here we are, we picked up our first bounty in tier one, which was a mangler. And we're taking this on again with white rarity, no ammo mods and no packer punch. And you, these are usually quite a struggle um, to deal with just, you know, with your base gun and nothing added onto it. But I have to say this HRM9 was just destroying this mangler. I was really excited at this point to continue on testing and seeing how this video did. And those two self revives came in clutch later in the video so stick around for that to see when I had to use those so we went and picked up our second uh, tier one bounty and this time I wanted to put on the legendary tool and napalm burst um, like I always do before we take on our second bounty inside of tier one just to see how much of a dramatic difference it was and holy smokes I mean I just about got rid of that mimic bounty right there with one magazine um, so we just quickly backed away and finished off the Mimic here, made really easy work of that with the Legendary Tool and Napalm. So clearly at this point I was excited. I'm like, what can this HRM9 do? Like this thing is absolutely melting everything and I've only got a Legendary Tool on it. Now I know it's a tier one bounty, but compared to what they normally are with, you know, no rarity and then with legendary, that was just melting him. So I was excited to go off and grab my second bounty for you guys, which was in tier two. Now along the way, I wanted to show you guys, this is just legendary with Napalm, just dealing with crowd control inside of tier two. I rounded up a whole bunch of zombies and let them come at me and pretty much tried to see if this weapon will let me stand here and just take them all down. And a resounding yes, this gun is incredibly strong. So we, we dipped into our little Merc camp here. I don't think they were really pleased. Um, I just kind of ran in here and uh, stole the contract. Sorry, sorry, Bob. Sorry, Jim. See you all later. Gotta go. Uh, there's also loot here to check. So keep shooting. Just miss me. There we go. And uh, we just ninja that contract away from the mercenaries, which was awesome. So now we head off to the Mangler and we're in tier two with legendary and napalm on it. And again, fairly easy work from this. I didn't really feel threatened at all. Um, a nice little tip I have for you guys when you're dealing with your Mangler bounties is if you are getting critical hits on uh, his helmet here and he's chasing you down like this you can see when i turn around and shoot him he i don't know what it is but he just stops sprinting full speed as long as you're continuing to get uh critical hits on him. you can see him right here he just gets stuck trying to like swing his sword or something so it's a nice way to deal with the uh, manglers in tier two just make easy work of them and we finished off our uh, bounty right here with a nice little chest burst to the mangler and away he goes so we had to go and check the loot because of course we're still trying to see what we get hopefully some good stuff in here uh you know zombies always being annoying when i'm trying to get into the reward rift and find out what it is i'm getting 
they just always seem to appear out of nowhere when you're trying to do that. So we got a tombstone can. Uh, I believe I either equipped that or stowed. I don't remember. So now we went to grab another tier two bounty. And this time I was really excited because we were going to be putting on uh, a pack one crystal. And I wanted to see how this would handle pop one legendary with napalm. So here we are. We put on our pop one crystal and we're off to go deal with a mimic. So now we have a pop one HRM nine. You know, to be honest with you, at range here, I was expecting a lot more damage, um, but it is a submachine gun, so I guess I can't complain too much. And uh, the Mimic's electrical shot actually helped me <laughs> eliminate this bounty as he knocked down all the zombies that were in front of him. It was absolutely perfect. Team drove by just as I cleared out my uh, Mimic bounty, checked the loot, there was nothing in there that I wanted. And then, of course, as I'm in the reward rift, another Mimic shows up and decides to chomp on me. So I wanted to show you guys, you know, pack one, Mimic in tier two, easy, easy work. So then what's left to show you guys? A mega abomination in tier three. So we went and uh, saw my good friend here. Uh, I've decided to call him George. We're gonna take on George here at the archways, and uh, he, he, this is easy work. Like, I really destroyed him. I was really impressed. That's already one, one mouth that he's opened up that I already shot. And now he started charging at me here, and I was impressed with the damage because he's doing his electrical track, attack here. And uh, silly me, I reloaded at the beginning of this attack. It wasn't this one. I think the next one, he downed me when he was trying to chomp on me. So that's where those self revives I picked off off our first bounty contract came in clutch for me right here I, I stuck around for an extra chomp from uh, the mega abomination and it was a chomp too many it sounds like me when i eat cookies by the way all right so now we had to finish off our mega abomination here because i wanted to show you guys just how strong it was and this is another awesome spot right here you can get the one from the bridge and you can pull him all the way out here into tier two and he won't come down these stairs right here so you can just kind of cheese him at the top of the stairs as you see me do in the footage I uh, dealt with a bunch of the zombies that came through first, and then of course all of his little crawlers because he thinks I'm inside of a building. Um, so we just took out a bunch of those. Their electrical attack can be really annoying to deal with while you're trying to deal with the Mega Abomination. So we got him out, and then he fired up his laser attack here, which was uh, the end of Mr. Mega Abomination. So that was one of the easiest, uh, less stressful fights I've had with Mega Abomination, even though I took it down. That was just my own stupid stealth for sticking around for too many chompy chomps. Uh, so we picked up the loot. I think I stowed the quick revive can. And then I wanted to go into tier three and see how, you know, the HMR9, we have it legendary, we have it tier three, we got Napalm. I wanna see how does it handle, um, you know, crowd control. When you walk into tier three, it can be quite hectic when you first show up, but zombies spawning all over the place. They're moving really fast. You got armored ones in there, you got dogs. So I wanted to show you guys some footage that this is really just not a problem with this weapon. And going into tier three, you can feel really comfortable. We had a disciple join up in the party here. And again, it was easy work. I wasn't really stressed. I didn't really feel like I was, you know, on the verge of uh, losing all of my stuff and, and dying while, while dealing with all of these zombies, the disciple. It just didn't feel like an issue. The only, the only time I had to really concern myself was when I was away trying to reload. Other than that, it's it, this gun is really strong. Definitely up there with the Ram 9, in my opinion, if not better. Uh, I really do did enjoy using this. I was pleasantly surprised at honestly just how strong this thing is and how it just absolutely destroys things inside of Tier 3 everywhere. So now we went and picked up our Tier 3 bounty, and I was really hoping this was going to be a Mega Abomination so I could show you guys just how strong this weapon is. So here's our Mega Abomination. Now I wanted to show you guys the cheese spot. I was hoping he followed me because this is an awesome spot to take your Mega Abominations in Tier 3 if they're going to follow you. And we had a second one over there. I was keeping an eye on him. I was hoping he stayed away for the moment. But if you can get him down here to these uh, this wooden stairs, I guess you'd call them. Yeah, wooden stairs here. It, uh, it won't climb up. This is such a cheese spot for handling stuff inside of tier three. And you can see here, um, I threw a decoy to get myself up here and then I realized there's no point in wasting ammo there. They're all gonna funnel up here and I'll be able to pick up the ammo that they drop right here on the stairs and just continue. So this was just an awesome, awesome way to survive tier three, make easy work of it. If you gotta get a crowd control or whatever and you're in this area, it's a perfect opportunity to just make easy work of the whatever it is that's chasing you. Now, our bounty made it over here, which made me really happy because he brought his electrical attack out, which is what we need. 
I started with that, and uh, I believe I already popped one of his faces off right there. Like, already. This spot is so amazing. Of course, he does think you're inside of a building, so he's going to fire all those things up here. And I believe the zombies are throwing meat at me for some reason, even though I'm not even in a glitch spot or anything. So there's that to deal with. <laughs> But it, overall, it's a, it's a pretty good spot. I, I definitely like using this spot for dealing with Mega Abominations, especially when they're the bounty contract and they have that extra health. Again, here I am staying in the way of the laser attack for way too long, just playing like an idiot. So, threw out a decoy. I was hoping to get him to come towards me a little bit more so that I could get him closer. He started up another laser attack, took out a second head right there. As you can see, this is just such a cheese spot. And we brought his laser attack out again for another try, and I don't think I was able to finish him off right here. Oh, yes, I was. So that's your Mega Abomination Bounty Contract done, cheesed, and amazing loot. I was so happy. We got a PAP 3 crystal, we got a Juggernaut can out of it, and then inside of the Reward Rift, we got another amazing loot as well. We got a PAP 2 crystal, so I was super stoked about that. That was just absolutely amazing. And then... The second Mega Abomination decided that he wanted to come over and uh, test out my cheese spot and see how he did in the cheese spot. So, uh, bad news, he didn't do well. Uh, they never do. So he came over here and uh, we're looking for him to do his laser attack. So there's the first mouth there. Popped that one off already. Had to kill out his little crawlies. Put down my energy mine just to deal with him if he decided to spawn him in. He popped off a second laser, which was not a good idea on his part. We popped off the second head right there. And then we're just waiting for him to finish up his third head. I'm waiting for the laser attack to come right here. So there, I see it coming, and we get ready to take out his uh, final head. There it is. And then we need just one more electrical attack from him so we can see that start. Unfortunately, I had to reload when that one came, so I just tried to shoot at him a little bit to trigger it, and perfect. He fired up his electrical attack, and we were able to finish off our second Mega Abomination in this just awesome cheese spot. Um, there was a epic tool there that I did manage to grab and stow but again I just wanted to show you guys this is one of the spots I use when I'm needing to deal with mega abominations or I just want to have you know somewhat of a stress-free time within tier 3 this is one of the spots I'll go to take advantage of uh, and use definitely you can see it works well for the mega abomination contract so we got our epic tool and stowed it the next thing to do was to head out and on the way out as I always do I want to show you guys what uh, this does against tier 2 bounties so we picked up our vehicle. Uh, Fred, our friendly zombie here, suggested that I go pick up a bounty. So uh, we went and picked one up. I asked him if that was all right. I told him it was a disciple, and he said, let's go get him. All right, sounds good, Fred. So we went over. We got our disciple here in Tier 2 and made just immensely easy work of this disciple. It just was absolutely nothing. I expected it to be a cakewalk, and it absolutely was. Uh, Pap 3, Legendary, Napalm, Tier 2 bounties don't stand a chance against this HMR9. Uh, it's been pretty awesome. So we went over and got the last thing we needed to show you guys is to absolutely wreck and delete a tier one bounty with our HMR9. And check this out. Hi! Absolutely destroyed that mangler. No chance. All right, we managed to pick up a ray gun on the way out. And I wanted to show you guys, if you're at this particular exfil location and you're looking at places to drop off stuff for other players, that sentry circuit turret is where you're going to do that because they will not despawn, despawn in there so you can drop off your schematics if you're trying to share them in the sentry turret you can type in chat the location of it what's in there and people can come and get it and then the saddest moment ever a ray gun that got left all alone nobody wanted the ray gun and then it fell through the helicopter i was so sad Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for uh, all the support on the recent content. Here's a successful exfil. As always, we out. And at the end, you guys have the weapon build. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions or changes to the weapon build. And uh, we can help each other out with that. Have yourselves an awesome day. And we'll see you in the next one.